Welcome to the Mike Show for Saturday, December 30th, 2017. There's my Mikey and he wants back in. Hey buddy, he was outside, so there he goes. And there's our lifeblood. There's our lifeblood. Some Sumatran. And we're going to push that plunger down and hope we don't blow up the neighborhood. Because when you don't do that French press just right, the explosive possibilities there are almost as bad as uh, the A-bomb they dropped on Hiroshima back in 1945. Oh boy, I can't remember. It's, it's 3 degrees, it's uh, about 10.30 right now. I slept in again because it was just way too warm in the bed and my mind was just saying stay in bed, stay in bed, you know. And uh, I just, I got zero ambition. I got a million things I could be doing around this house, work-wise and stuff. And part of the reason I ain't doing nothing is I'm in pain, you know. I'm still in a lot of pain. It just ain't going away. Come on, Max. Come on out. So, until I get the coffee in me and getting some yoga done, ugh, I ache. And I think that's where all my ambition's coming from, too, is that coffee. Went out and fed the city chickens, gave Audi her medicine, Sage his medicine. So you got a call from the vet and an email. Probably about the call I made yesterday regarding Sage. I'll be giving them a jingle back in a little while. Today I am going to force myself to get out and go on some kind of walk. Come on, Max. Mackie, come on out here. Come on, buddy. Come on. The only way I can make myself move is to drink lots of coffee, then that's what I'm going to do. Oh, but I truly, other than the fact that I'm in pain, I truly believe at a, at a primal level in our DNA, the body knows. Stay the hell inside. Cover up and sleep, you know. Do your basics and go back to bed. What's the point, you know. I ain't got to go out and kill nothing, hunt nothing. I got food, I got water, I got everything. And I used to be concerned about missing out on life, you know, every day less you, you know, every day you live is one less you got. And I don't know. I want to be somewhere warm and riding a bicycle, that's all I know. Maybe even swimming. Pools don't cut it. Sagey, you want to come out here? Come on, buddy. Come on, Sagey. Come on, buddy. Come on and sit with me. Oh, boy. I woke up with Audie again. Sagey's not quite so juicy today. On his tail. Letting it scab up. Uh, got a poopy butt though. Oh, there's city chickens out on the wire. Ah. There's city chickens out on the wire. Oh, we gave Audi her pills, Sage's pills, clean the litter boxes, but I can guarantee I go in the house right now, they're going to need cleaning again. Audi went back upstairs, Sammy's up there, Elsie never even came down. We're getting some light snow. It's, it is a pretty day out there, you know. It's a pretty day out there. I'm going to sit and have a cup of coffee and do some more of my breathing exercises and get rolling on with this day. So we're going to pause for right now. I thought we were. Look who's come to join me. Mackie. There's Mackie and Big Sage at back out here. Come on, Max. There's Big Sage. Now he wants to probably go back in the house. What's he going to do? Oh, Maxie. Well, yesterday... Uh, Ended up eating that roast I had in the crock pot, that venison roast. Had a jalapeno in with it, some onion, garlic, chicken broth. And uh, it was pretty yummy. Ate it all in one sitting. And didn't end up walking down to Cabin Creek, picking up a pound of Sumatran beans. I'm enjoying some of them right now. Walked about a little over two and a half miles. Uh, got into watching George Carlin videos last night on YouTube. Had some laughs there. Uh, 
Oh yeah, oh, look, the city chickens are out there. And let me watch the show on Voodoo about James Bond from... Well, I didn't finish it, but it's the start of the show from, you know, Ian Fleming writing the books after he came home from service in World War II and... Uh, you know how Tubby Bacoli and Harry Saltzman got together to form the production company Eon Productions. And I think Eon meant everything or nothing. EON was the name of their company. Got to bed around 11, but got up right before daylight, right our normal time, but I just couldn't keep myself up and I laid back down and that was that, you know. Which I probably should start getting up earlier. Or getting up when my body first gets up. That's the best thing to do. You know. It is more difficult afterward. Oh yeah. Yeah, we'll find some way to get out and do something outside today. We'll find some way to do it. It was nice to wake up with Wadi again and Mikey. Mikey was very affectionate and Sammy and Elsa's just kind of been laying up in her corner, not doing a whole lot. Look at them city chickens go. Wouldn't that be cool to be able to fly like that? So yeah, I'm in the middle of another aimless ramble. It's not like I'm depressed or anything, but I'm tired of feeling hurt, you know? I'm tired of my body hurting and I'm tired of being cold. The damn furnace don't turn off, it seems like. And I don't know, this house is like a refrigerator. It's like a refrigerator. I want to be somewhere warm. And it ain't here. <laughs> oh, we're going to pause again. Well, we are back inside. Upstairs in the cat's room. Look at them. There's Mikey and Samuel, Max, Seiji, and there's that Audie. Audie, Tum Tum. It's just unbelievable that... She, uh, will be up here with them, them, you know, in that close proximity. Look at the I love you. We gotta call the vet. They called us back after calling yesterday. Look at, look at Tum Tum. Look at that pretty lady. Oh, look at that little lady. Look at Tammy. Look at Tammy. And Mackie. And Seiji. And Morgie. Morgie. And Melcy, my Elsie, that's Melcy. Hey, that's Melcy. Well, I figured out I'm gonna do only the only thing I know how to do to get me the ambition I need. Because resting my body ain't making it feel any better. So you know what? I'm just gonna get jacked on espresso and just go where the day takes me. I do need to make a call to the vet's office. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention too, I, I discovered yesterday one of my kitchen windows is cracked. It's so cold the window cracked. I think it's because I had a candle burning in the sill. And <laughs> I'm just fed up with it, man. But nothing you can do. So I'm going to finish this video, do some yoga, do some readings. Probably call the vet's office and see what they got going on. And they sent us a nice card about Joe yesterday, too. And his ashes should be back pretty soon. And then they usually make a little paw print and put it in the frame for you. But, uh, yeah, I have no idea where I'm going on this day. We're just going to make it up as we go along, see where the espresso is going to take us. So, peace and blessings. I hope you all have a great day.